All right, so I'm here with Ben and Aiden, and we're out on the Susquehanna River tonight. We've been on a pretty good bite in this area, but conditions are a little less than ideal today. Windy, cold water, so we'll see what happens. We're actually gonna be doing a little bit of a bait comparison. We've got some old blue catfish I have cut up that I caught, I don't know, months and months ago. So those fillets we're gonna cut in strips. We'll put those on half our rods, and then we're gonna throw out some cut frozen shad, and we're gonna compare, see what works, but let's see, uh, let's see if these catfish are cannibals. All right, so we got a nice uh, chunk of gizzard shot on here. We got a four ounce weight, seven, eight off hook. Let's get it. Oh yeah, solid 50 yard cast there. You so here's that old blue catfish. Probably about seven, maybe eight months old. Yeah, we caught this in the bay this summer and uh, it kind of just sat around in the freezer and I, I hadn't wanted to eat it anymore, so let's go. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so that's the strip of catfish we'll send out. <laughs> it's bad. just the right size for those little channel cats out there. But this time of year, we're lucky we were able to cast net some shad, but a lot of times it, it's real hard to get that shad and stuff. So a lot of times it leaves guys like this, like trying to look for bait. So Ooh. sometimes catfish is your only option. And one benefit is it stays on the hook forever. And of course it's easy to get and you can get a crap ton of it when you hook a nice, nice catfish. So today what we'll be finding out is, is this worth it? Like we could be using all shad, but we're trying to find out if this bait is worth using. Yep. I'd hook that on one more time, like like a piece of squid, you know. Nah, man, look, it, it's got really tough skin. It was hard. Okay, to... all right, sling her out then. And we're trying to spread these rods out some. He did cast from the same area, but he's sending that one left and he sent his other one a little right. And uh, it'll be funny out here. You'll be in this one spot. However, just the little difference in casting can really can really mean all the difference in what rod's getting bit and what one isn't. So there could be a little bit of structure out there that uh, those, these fish are congregated around. So we'll just find out. We're gonna wait here, see, see if we start getting some hits. All right, so there's another piece of catfish that's gonna go out. So we'll have two rods with catfish two with the normal piece of shad, and then we got one down there rigged up with a giant head. So we'll either get a monster in that rod or nothing, and hopefully uh, we find out up here what works best, catfish or shad. Um, not much going on here, but we're getting a little bit of hit on the shad. So kind of as I expected, the shad's getting more action than the catfish, but we're leaving that catfish out till we get a fish on it. Let's see if this guy decides to eat it all the way. There's a real big piece on there, so he may not uh, he may not take it. Just gotta wait till he's eating it all the way. Calmed down a lot. It was windy earlier, but it's pretty nice out now. Yeah, get that. Reel down. Too fast. All right. <laughs> there we go. First fish. Feel like a blue? No, it's a small channel. Huh? Yeah, it's a little guy. All right, well, been out here about half hour, 45 minutes. So we got one shad, zero, zero catfish. So, so far, shad is showing to be a better bait, kind of as we expected, but we still want to prove that if you can't get anything else, this catfish will work. He's a really little guy. Might be an eater. Could be. Definitely See him out a there. Channel. All right, let's get a light on him. Should be coming up here. A little guy. Is yeah. Is that a flathead? No, that's a that's a channel. That's a channel. Um. So he is barely hooked in the corner. Yeah. So no wonder this guy was taking so long to get on. Um. All right. Real muddy. You can see he was down there on the bottom. <laughs> I can't believe you hooked that guy. That's actually pretty crazy. Yeah. It's gotta be gotta be a little patient. Um. I'll keep him to eat, so. 
pretty fish. Um, it's nice and cold out, so these guys can just sit on the pavement till it's time to go. We uh, put them out so we won't be suffering, but yeah. All right, it's about as good a bait as you can get. Yeah. It's a nice, fresh chunk of, oh, a little frozen. Not, <laughs> not fresh at all, but just nasty, <laughs> bloody shad. So, I mean, <laughs> it's no wonder this is getting hit more. That is, that's some of the best bait and, you know, out here. We've been using a lot of frozen bait lately and some fresh bait, and I have yet to notice a difference. I don't know if it's the time of year, the spot. Uh, I hear a lot of fuss about frozen bait, but it's been doing us well, real well. Well, no more than four minutes after the last one, the shad strikes again. There we go. Ben's hooked up. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a blue one. Definitely blue. Let's go. Nice. He's tearing them up because he's got the fresh shad. I'm I'm out here still trying trying that blue cat. Oh, this could be a good fish. I'm sticking with the catfish for y'all, but man, do I want to throw some shad out there and get on one of these oh, guys. Yeah. No more than 33 degrees and the cats are biting. I had this bait out there, I don't know, a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Good thing about this time of year, you're either on them or you aren't. It'll be dead or you'll be fish after fish because uh, they like to stack up when it's cold. And clearly we're on them. This is a really nice fish. I... You! Let's go. He's staying down, like this actually might be one of the bigger ones we've caught here. He's staying down. Usually these guys come right to the top, so I'm I'm excited to see what this guy is. Fish. That's a 20 pounder. 20 pounder, yeah. Heck yeah, keep his head down, keep his head down. He's hardly hooked. I think this is the biggest one. Oh, all right. I just pulled him up one handed. Oh, who am I kidding? That's a... That's, that's a that solid a 20. He's fat. He's he's over 20. Oh, yeah. Look at that fish. Hooked just the way he should be. I got a tape better in there. Okay, yeah, let's measure his I ass. Popped it right out. Woo -hoo. All right, so these blue cats out here loving that shad. Frozen shad. Oh, all tangle. Nice. All right, good work, man. Nice. There we go. Absolutely beautiful fish. Um, 28 inches, but the girth on that baby, she has been eating well. Um, there must be shad out there. Ain't need to go to the Potomac for nice blue cats. All right. Oh. I'll make it. Oh, she's fine. She went right down. Just had a little, had a little air in that air bladder, so she wanted to come back up. So the bite was real good there for a second, um, and then it dropped right off because uh, the tide went totally slack. I've never actually seen this area this calm. There's zero current, so that generally just leads to the bite dying off, so we're waiting it out, but here within the next half hour to hour, it should start picking up again, and when it does, um, I bet the fish will start biting, so we're just gonna wait till that action comes back. Oh, don't reel against it. So we had this rod laying out on the dock. This is Aiden's ultralight, and I just heard it dragging towards the water, so I ran, slid, and grabbed it, and he's got a real nice fish on. Oh, yeah. 20 pound braid, super light action, ugly stick, tiny little Shimano reel. It's the way we like to do it. Dude, I gotta get a better rig for this. <laughs> this is one of the biggest ones I've seen come out of this spot. That's probably a 30 incher. Holy crap. Just don't pull his head out of the water, remember that. Oh, that's a, that's a oh, huge. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that's a 25 pounder. Oh, oh shit. Look at <laughs> I know y'all, this isn't the biggest blue cat you've probably seen, but on the Susquehanna, this is an absolute beast. And on, on an ultralight, I mean, that is so cool. <laughs> You get a picture of me. Yeah. There y'all go. That is how we like to do it out here on the Susquehanna River. Absolute beast of a blue cat. Let me get a close up on that mother. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, it's a 30 inch here. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, he's oh. gonna flop now, but that was 30 on the dot. 
All right, Aiden, just pick right, him up and pop him back in. Oh, he's feisty now. You can just yeah, toss we'll, him back in. I might just toss him because I can't. Yeah, there you go. Now. All right, you just ready? Real, real gentle, set him down in. You're good. <laughs> Straight down. Healthy fish. Damn. Good job. That is a beast. Wow. Susquehanna <laughs> beast. Let's go. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Let's go. Well, guys, that's going to be a wrap for tonight. Um, we ended up with three decent fish. It wasn't the best action I've ever seen out here, but it could have been a lot worse, too. Um, I'm surprised we really got anything with how cold it is tonight. But, uh, yeah, I can't give you guys a ton of insight into the bait comparison. Uh, what we did find out from our limited fish catches was that uh, the shad seemed to be performing better, as I expected. But we ended up with, I think, two hits on the catfish. They just uh, were short and you know they got off but yeah so if all y'all can get is catfish i mean it's definitely worth a shot out here but as you'd expect the shad seem to perform a little better but you know what if y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to like hit that subscribe button and i'll see y'all next time